Welcome back once again to PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we teach you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to learn how to use the Type tool which will add words to your picture and it's going to be very easy to do. It's not a hard procedure but uh, as you can see I've opened up this picture of this old bomber. I took a picture uh, out in the Midwest at one of the uh, airfields out there. I think it was a Hill Air Force Base. They had these big airplanes out there. Anyway, so I decided uh, today we're going to add some words to this and it's very easy to do. If you look over on your left hand side of your screen you will see there is a little T there that stands for type tool. You just click on that to get started and you'll notice your cursor turns into like a little uh, typewriting uh, cursor up there and you'll notice it and what you do is you just click on any part of the screen where you want your letters to go now up here it says 36 point and that's obviously pretty big for what we got because you got this big flashing line there so we're gonna scale it down to about an 18 point about the size of the line that's flashing there that's how big your letters are going to be on this particular project uh, depending on the size of your photograph it's all going to depend on that okay now right here along the options bar you'll notice you'll have impact these are all your fonts these are whether you want this usually it'll depending on the font you want to use this will say bold or italics uh, I guess on impact it's it's only regular and then also here you can sharp crisp smooth whichever way you want to do these these are how it's going to be oriented I usually when I put mine down initially I've got it right here on the center but you could go left text right text whatever okay so we're going to add some letters in here and uh, I'm using the impact pack but you can use any particular font that you want to out of here okay so let's make this uh, an area 51 page let's just do that now you'll notice it's kind of off center here and you'll notice that my cursor goes from being the line to being the little uh, pointer tool again and so what you want to do is in this mode hold down your left mouse button and you can just pull this over to the center real easy to do okay if you want to have your words going further down the page it's just like a word processor uh, if I hit enter it's going to go underneath that okay so let's do welcome to instead area 51 so you notice that that looks okay and I want to move it I'm holding down my left mouse button again and I'm dragging it around okay now you can change the color of this anytime you want to uh, what you can do is notice where I have my cursor I'm going to hold down my left mouse button I want to drag it across all of this and then right here is set the text color and a palette will open up you can do a bunch of different ways uh, so forth uh, you can go into here and select whatever color you want it to be uh, just for kicks let's make it a um, green color just for the heck of it and you'll notice as soon as you select on there now I wouldn't particularly use this. I kind of like the the whiter, the gray color I already had. Matter of fact, I'm going to shift it over to gray to kind of match the uh, the uh, aircraft in the background. Or if you really want to match the aircraft, just let your cursor go over to the right further, and you'll notice there's a little eyedropper. You can select any of the colors that are on that aircraft. Notice how it's changing for the one I'm selecting. So that's another cool way of doing it. If you wanted to blend right into the background, just click on the sky. But uh, in this case, I kind of like that right there. That looks pretty cool. Maybe a little lighter. That's cool. All right. So now you have selected and you have laid down your text. And all you have to do is click on the screen. And once again, you've got your letters on there just exactly the way you want them. Okay, here's a new trick since we're on the subject. I've reselected my area. Welcome to Area 51. And I want to use these little tabby things over here. One says color and you can see the different colors there now you can pick any of these colors at any time by clicking on this little bar or you can change the colors by moving this around or whatever okay and you'll notice that's changed somewhat or you can go to swatches there's a bunch of different swatches on here click on those and you can change the color just by see that the colors changed or you can go into styles I have to reselect my 
Now, every time you do this, you've got to reselect your letters by highlighting them by holding down your left mouse button and dragging it across. And then you can go into Styles, and they've got all these different gradations on here. And look, at I just clicked on that one, and it came out like that, or it came out like that. I can cl click on any of these. There's one that has like a chrome effect. Hey, that's kind of cool. So forth. So that's one easy way of doing this. Now, let's say, for example, these weren't here. Let's get rid of these for a second. Where would you get those if they weren't there? Well, anything that goes into this little palette over to your right, or this little panel, is always, almost always under Windows. And the three that we had open, as you remember, was Color. So you notice when I click Color, that one popped back over here. Uh, the other one was Swatches. Swatches is back over there. And the last one we had was called Styles. And there's styles again. So you can keep adding to these, you know, and there's anytime you want to uh, use anything over here, uh, for example, history, which is a good one to have, you'll notice another one popped open over here, history. And we're going to be talking about history later on. That's a good way of adding letters to your Photoshop image, and it's a real easy way to do it. Uh, there's more to this we're going to get into in another uh, chapter later on down the road. But uh, once again, this is Mark Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com, where we show you concisely and clearly how to use Adobe Photoshop. God bless, and have a great day.